Today we're happy to welcome back our old friend Rayon Polyquaptua, one of our very favorite Hopi Kachina doll carvers. You know, there are many good books today that describe Hopi Kachina dolls and their meanings, but we think it's a lot more interesting to hear about Kachina dolls from the people who know them the very best because they're a part of their very being. In this program, Rayon describes five Kachina dolls for us, and as a side note, the background music in this piece was also performed by Rayon and his group Blue Thunder. Let's listen to Rayon. This particular doll is known as the Awat of Soyukwiti, and she's uh, one of the um, ancient ogres of uh, present time as we know it today, and um, Coming from the, um, the the present ruins, the um, Awato Awatovi ruins, and uh, she she was the ogre lady of the village and the um, enforcer, and to go around and keep little kids and not only just little kids, you know, older people in in line and to do their dues and listen to their parents and their loved ones and respect one another, or else. She will take you away. And this next piece is the mocker. The um, mocker is also known as the Kukwileka, and uh, he's he, he's um, another English translation name is the copycat. And um, this particular piece, his hairdo is made from um, bark, bark from wood, and He's got, um, since he's always copying, and I thought that style is the fab today, and everybody wants to be mixed in and intertwined with uh, society, and so therefore he has a um, reggae shorts on, reggae sh um, trunks, and as you can see also, he's got one side of a Converse shoe with a Hopi shoe on the left side, which would probably be your right if you're looking at it. And um, he has the um, the Hopi sash on the side, called as um, a Matuf Munkwewa. And um, the designs on it resemble uh, rain and water waves and the, the greenness of the earth and how everything is um, connected in a circle of life. So therefore you have the mocker. This next particular piece is known as a Nangoi Suho or a Star Chaser or a Planet Kachina. And um, this Kachina is very rare. Um, it's really not ever uh, seen anymore uh, in the villages, but um, pictures and other artists have made uh, this particular doll. And, and the, um, he, they say that he's came from. Uh, the Zunis also introduced to the Hopis through the Zunis and uh, his paintings on his body represent uh, clouds and rain coming down off the clouds and just as well as his kilt and the Hopi sash you see on the um, the side and so um, therefore you have what is known as the Star Chaser Nangwe Suho And this doll, this Katina, is known as, uh, well, he's actually a mudhead, a uh, MC, and, uh, and he uh, he can, he's a character like the mocker, you know, the Kukwileka, the copycat, and he's a jokester, and uh, also he can play serious, and uh, the way he's dressed here is he's, imitating um, to be a corn boy and so he has every all the clothing that the corn boy would have and um, like as you see the kilt as well has to do with a lot of uh, rain and clouds and the growth of our plants and animals and so this uh, this Guiamsi knows many stories and has many songs and Therefore, he can imitate almost about anything as well. So this is the Kuyamsi, and he's imitating a corn boy, Nangaya uh, Taka. This Kachina is um, also known as a corn boy, 
but um as you know he's he's got two um separate um face paintings on him um that split him right in half and he's um also known to be as a, a clown and the story uh, goes that um that this particular boy he was out in the um cornfield and um as he was playing out there it started to rain really hard and and the lightning had struck him in half so and the um, and therefore the lightning put him right back together and uh, therefore you have the blue side which represents the corn boy and then the black and white side which represents the Koyala and it's also known as the Koshari clown and um, these corn boys are all <coughs> It all, they're all um, spirits of the plants, you know, the plants of the corn in the field. And he, um, well, they's, they're just basically caretakers and represent uh, that, that there will be many good crops for out through the year. And the reason why they're called corn boys also is because they, um, they're, they're rain dancers and they, and the uh, Hopis are dry land farmers, and so, you know, this is our way of praying to the spirits above and having them bring the rain clouds so that that um, our main source of food, which is corn, uh, will be, you know, good uh, harvest throughout the years as we live on in life. So therefore you have what is known as the Payatam Katsina, also known as half corn, half clown boy. Uh, this particular Katsina doll here it represents the Kawai Katsina, also known as the horse. And um, the horse, you know, the horse name Kawayo comes from the um, Spanish name Caballo or Cavallo. And um, this, these dancers, these particular kachinas were, were, um, were, were, were danced, you know, in favor of the, the horse, so that the, um, the great horse that was introduced to span, well, from the Spanish to, to, um, Native Americans and Hopis, and, uh, just to keep them, you know, the spirits high and that, that they show that um, that they are a part of society as being what mascots and teams, or or um, they take um, pride in the the strength of the horse, and you know, therefore you, these kachinas were they used to dance in in favor of the the horse that way that um, more horses may be you know born and that they can help out society and whatever strengths they got and so therefore you have um, these kachinas they represent mainly spirits and beings of different uh, objects of the earth of it being animals plants or even uh, just society today humans as we we are and so and the, the main point behind all these dolls is to you know have um, symbols of you know how could I say this here now these um, kachinas you know help the Hopis like I said rain is a big portion of our lives and um, not only plants use them to grow we humans and animals you know use water every day to live and so therefore you know still pray to the gods up above that they would hear us and come down and spray the earth and made the you know the little ones even down to little insects you know keep kicking on life and having a great time and that everything grows and stays green so therefore you have what is known as the kawaii katsina the horse <laughs>